Um, she started off normal um, and was hitting all of her milestones. Um, then she started, she walked a little late, she was a little late talking. So she was, you know, started to be a little bit delayed, but nothing we were really concerned with. You know, friends, family, doctors said not, not to worry. Kids develop at different paces and she'll be all right. Um, you know, it's a bit of an odd journey from there. She, she was very difficult behavior wise as a, as a toddler. But again, we just thought, hey, terrible twos. You know, it was our first child. <laughs> we just thought it was kind of normal or, and she'd grow out of it. It was a phase. Um, and, but it got progressively worse. She wasn't um, able to talk and communicate very well. And it took, but she, she learned adaptive techniques and it, that kind of confused us for some time until we figured out that she really didn't understand, didn't have the comprehension behind it. So she was able to say certain words or phrases, but she didn't really understand the meaning of them. She was just kind of repeating them. Um, it took us a while to figure that out. Um, and, uh, but she, 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 she continued to grow. Um, so she was still gaining skills. And so we weren't worried. We just thought she had kind of, she had some problems with her ears. We thought it was related to hearing. Um, and that was really the problem of her speech and comprehension and, and, um, and her behavior issues. We just kind of thought she would grow out of. Um, and then uh, she kind of peaked about five and a half. Um, she was doing very, you know, for us, considering very well that she was still growing. And then that, the summer uh, after her, after her pre-K year, she really started to regress uh, very rapidly, actually. And um, at that point, that's when we decided we need to kind of go outside of our current set of doctors and friends. And I and, uh, went and saw a geneticist. And um, they basically diagnosed us in the lobby. <laughs> they, they knew just by looking at her that she had um, MPS from some of her features. Um, and uh, they was tested and, and confirmed that, you know, um, it's a, you know, a month later. So it's been a year and a half now since, since the diagnosis. And um, since that time, she went from saying four and five word sentences to now um, just maybe one word sentences here and there. Uh, every once in a while, she might say a phrase, um, but it's completely out of context, you know. And her hyperactivity has just been off the scale. I mean, she can't sit down. She used to be able to at least sit down for a few minutes and maybe color. You know, she couldn't really color in the shapes or anything, but she could. She could um, at least hold a pencil or a crayon and, and you know, keep it on the on the um, on the paper. And that's she can't even do that anymore. She picks picks it up and drops it. Picks up something else, drops. It. She, she can't focus on it for more than a few seconds. She runs runs around the house, <laughs> you know, jumping into things, jumping over things, knocking things over, constantly grabbing every everything off the sh you know anything that's available. She will grab. Oh, and she can't sleep. So she's up all night. I'm up all night with her. Um, you know, she very rarely sleeps the night. Usually she's up, you know, several times a night. Sometimes she's up for the whole night. Sometimes she's up for five hours. You know, she'll be up at one o'clock in, in the morning and won't go back down. Um, and uh, it's very difficult. Hard to, hard to keep, hold down a job. Hard to, you know, have a you know, normal functioning family. Hard to, you know, um, so it's, it's very difficult uh, home life. Uh, causes a lot of stress in our relationships, that, you know, um, both with our friends, our family, and, and even myself and my wife. So it, it produces a lot of stress, a lot of stress. And in the middle, you're trying to navigate all the insurance. You're trying to navigate, you know, medical programs from different government, you know, agencies. You're trying to, uh, you know, navigate the educational system and trying to get resources for your child. You're, you know, you're trying to navigate this very complicated uh, landscape of, you uh, um, biotechs and, and clinical trials <laughs> and you know you're trying to do that in the background while working full-time provide for your family and and constant um, care so it's it's not manageable <laughs> really